everybody! Welcome to today's vlog. Today I'm here to talk to you about my second trimester of pregnancy. Initially I was gonna do a monthly video, I even did one of the fourth month, but I'm a little late with the videos, I'm a little behind, so I decided to do one for the whole second trimester. I think that will be easier so I can catch up. So let's start it now! So everybody say that the easiest trimester is the second one, is the honeymoon of the pregnancy and I'm here to confirm that because my second trimester was for sure like the best. <laughs> uh, it took a while to start as I told you on the video of the fourth month. Uh, on the beginning, I, I mean for half of the fourth month I was still having like a lot of nausea and stuff like that but once it was gone it was heaven. <laughs> like seriously, I started like eating better, my food restrictions were over, even chicken that I couldn't eat for like almost four months, I can't eat again, so I started eating way better, I didn't have nausea anymore, no more throw-ups, no more any of that. So just that part was like so 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 good. <laughs> also my energy level like start getting way better since the beginning of the fourth month. So on the first trimester I couldn't do anything, I didn't have energy for anything. And on the second trimester I like was like super, super, uh, I don't know, excited to do everything that I couldn't do on the first trimester. That was great because during my second trimester we did a trip to Brazil, we went to Brazil for a whole month. It was my fifth month of pregnancy, we were in Brazil and it was the best because I was feeling so well, so good and I had energy so I could enjoy it. Of course we were in the middle of a pandemic so we can do like everything you want to but I could enjoy my family. I went there to meet my nephew that was just born and he's the cutest. You guys are gonna see because I made video of the trip. I'm gonna post here soon so I'm gonna show you and the trip was amazing we did a trip like also to the beach we enjoyed a lot so it was like an awesome trip and i could enjoy it a lot because i was in the best moment of my pregnancy <laughs> and also uh, because i was start eating finally i finally started gaining weight because on my first trimester i ended up losing weight and then on the fourth month when i start getting a little better i recovered the weight that i lost but i didn't gain like more than that and then starting on month five, I start finally gaining weight. So I think during the whole second trimester, I gained around 11 pounds, I think. And most of it was in Brazil, of course, because I was missing Brazilian food so much. I love Brazilian food. And it's one of the things that I miss the most about Brazil is the food. So I was there for a whole month and I wanted to enjoy it. So I wanted to eat all my favorite dishes, go to all my favorite restaurants. So yes, I gained a lot of weight that month. <laughs> and I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but that was also the month where my bumps start showing. Because until month four, like I couldn't show a lot. Um, first time I said I couldn't show at all. I even think like my belly went like smaller <laughs> or something on month four it got a little bigger but like it looked like i ate a lot or something like that it didn't look like a pregnancy bump and then on month five it was crazy like everything showed at once i'm gonna show you pictures now how it was like month four and five and six and you guys are gonna see how big of a difference it made it's crazy <laughs> so you're gonna see it now So yes, now I do have a bump, <laughs> that's not the best outfit for that, but anyway, now I'm already on my third trimester too, so that doesn't count, but yeah, the month that it made the biggest difference was between month 5 to 6, in the weight and in the size. A lot of nice things happened during my second trimester, like a lot, a lot, and one of them is that I finally started feeling baby moving. First time I felt for sure was on week 18th of the pregnancy. Before that, I sometimes had a feeling like it could be the baby or not, but I wasn't sure, so I didn't consider that. So on that day, on week 18th, I was absolutely sure that that was the baby, so that was a big deal for me. And first time I felt like a big, big kick that I almost could see it through my belly was during week 
20. So yeah, that all happened on the second trimester. Also, you already know that because I already showed here on the channel that it was on the beginning of the second trimester that we found out we're having a girl. We did our gender review, so yes, that was super special too. And also in the second trimester we had a baby shower, <laughs> a first one because we had actually two baby showers but the second one was already in the beginning of the third trimester. And we had two because we had one in Brazil during our trip and then one here in the United States. So we ended up having two small ones because we're in the middle of the pandemic so we couldn't do big parties but I definitely wanted to do something with my family in Brazil for sure because I can go there all the time, I, only, I usually go like once a year or something like that, so I wanted to do that and it was a really really small one but I'm going to show you, it was super special, we got some really cute gifts for our baby and I made a vlog, I'm going to show you all about that and let me see what else happened on the second trimester because I know there was more special things happening, oh yeah of course, we started finally working here on the baby's nursery. <laughs> Because during the first trimester I already wanted to do so much, I was looking for so much inspirations and stuff, but of course it was too early so I couldn't do anything for real. So when second trimester started, we found out the gender, I'm like okay now it's time, so we started like preparing the bedroom. Of course that we went to Brazil and spent a whole month there so we couldn't do much before that time. By the time we got back I was already on month 6 so I was like oh my god I started freaking out because I was like I'm behind now. <laughs> like I didn't want to do it before because it was too early and now I think I'm getting behind. So I started doing everything so quick and I had my energy back and I wanted to do this and I was freaking out mode. So. I ended up doing it too quick because in like a month the bedroom, the nursery was completely done. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys here soon the nursery. I'm already here right now but I'm not gonna show you here on this video because I'm gonna show a video preparing a little bit and then I'm gonna make a tour so you're gonna see the nursery soon here on the channel. But yes, that was super special, that was something really really fun to do organizing everything and washing all her clothes and everything it was so much fun okay so as you can see only good things happening on the second trimester we only had like one scary part that ended up being like not really so scary but it was scary for a while because <laughs> uh, I did all my labs for the second trimester they were all good but then when we were in Brazil uh, we went to the beach as I told you guys and on the last day of that trip I uh, like we were already about to get the flight to go back to Sao Paulo where my, my family lives and then I started feeling a little bad and then I checked my blood pressure and it was high so uh, I had to go to the emergency there and uh, the OB there told me that that usually when the gestational hypertension like start showing, start happening during the pregnancy when people have it. So she was like, you're probably gonna have to take medication for that from now until the end of your pregnancy. And I was like, of course, shocked because I never had it before. Everything's been fine during my whole pregnancy. It's been everything so easy, so good. But anyway, I made an appointment. As soon as we go back to Sao Paulo, I made an appointment because I didn't want to wait, I still had like two weeks in Brazil, I didn't want to wait until I come here. So I made an appointment, the doctor did all the tests, everything looked good, looked great with the baby, the baby was in perfect size, everything looked fine. But he told me the same thing, he was like, yeah, high blood pressure is dangerous, so I'm gonna start a medication on you. He gave me one that was like the lowest dose possible for that, and I started taking it and I bought like a... A monitor to keep checking my blood pressure at home and after the medication everything looked fine I didn't have any high blood pressure anymore so I thought the medication was working good I came back to United States and I made an appointment with my own doctor here and I told him everything that happened I showed him all the labs the medication I was taking and he agreed with the other doctor he told me I should keep on the medication and be safe 
and he, initially he wanted me to take the same medication but it's not that common here and I couldn't find it anywhere I tried I tried really bad but I couldn't so he had to give me another prescription for a different medication and first day taking the new one I ended up going to the emergency room because I had a really bad case of low blood pressure it went to like 80 over 50 and I was about to faint so I went to the hospital I was there for hours and then the doctor in the emergency room told me to start like taking half of the pill and not even take it if I was feeling like it was a little low so I started doing that I went back to my doctor and he told me to keep doing that so anyway i was like taking half of it sometimes even skipping it and everything looked fine but then i have to do like a few appointments here with a high risk uh, doctor just because i'm 35 and here like when you're 35 you consider like you're like high risk so they make me go to the high risk doctor like at least once in a while so i had to go back there and I showed her all the situation, all the labs and my logs because I've been doing logs with all my blood pressure like every day now since I started the medication and all and this high risk doctor actually told me she think I started taking the medication too soon because she said I didn't look like I had hypertension like because my blood pressure and my logs were almost like a little low most of the time and she said people that have hypertension that doesn't happen and she said that the medication i was taking at first in brazil that was working good for me it's so 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 low that most people that take that one and it's enough most likely don't even need it at all so she's like i'm pretty sure that that's your case so i'm gonna take you out of it you just can stop taking it today and keep checking your blood pressure every day, keep doing the logs, send it to us every week and I've been doing it ever since and she was completely right because my blood pressure has been perfect uh, since I stopped so I've been feeling much better because I don't have low blood pressure anymore so yeah I think that was like a decision made up too soon which is crazy because like two doctors confirmed that but it's okay I think they wanted to be like better safe than sorry but anyway i feel better not taking it and for now i definitely don't need it i don't know if i'm gonna need it at some point of my pregnancy when i get to the end of the third trimester or something but for now definitely i don't think i need it so yeah it was something like it was scary but not quite because it ended up being good in the end so that was it that was the only like problem in the second trimester everything well uh, everything else was perfect and now I'm going back to that and I hope the third trimester goes smooth as the second one because for now it's been really really good and I hope it keeps that way <laughs> I know third trimester is a little tougher but let's see how it goes and I'm gonna tell you guys here so yeah that's it if you have any questions just leave it here and I'll answer you guys and leave your like here and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to our channel See you soon. Bye-bye.